outfit is he wearing? Sensei, is that you? Your clothes? My usual commoner attire is nothing but an act! You think someone famous would actually live in a shack? Of course, I have another home! Under a mistress's name, of course. What a pig! Tell me it's not true. However, now it seems you all know too much. And I cannot allow you to leave here alive. We're here for your treasure. <laughs> you are as naive as you are foolish. You're supposed to be an artist. Plagiarism, forgery, aren't you ashamed? <laughs> Artless simpletons are the ones who should be ashamed. They can't distinguish a genuine piece from a fake. But they're happy to throw money at me for the trifling works of my pupils. That is, as long as it has my name on it. What are you saying? You've been a great asset to me, Yusuke. Hold on. If Sayori wasn't stolen, and you had the real one all along, why did you start making so many copies? You still haven't figured it out. Painting being stolen was a lie that I started. It's a hoax. It's all an act. All I have to do is spin some story about how I found the real painting, and it can be yours for a special price. I offer the preferential treatment. Art snobs eat that crap up and pay good cash for it, too. Art has no objective value. This is purely business. All you ever talk about is money, money, money. It's no wonder you ended up with this disgusting palace. I don't believe it. Sayori was everything to me. I chose this life after being captivated by that work. Answer me! Why have you forgotten true art? What do you know about art? I shall put an end to this arrogant drivel for good! Things aren't gonna stop coming! We could somehow put a lid on it? Yeah, and where would we find that? That's enough! Put down your weapons! Kitagawa-kun! Don't move! It's not too late to come back, Yusuke. If you do it now, I'll forget this ever happened. You know you're better than these uncultured swine. Come now, you're my prized cash cow! Did you really think I would take you into my home out of the goodness of my heart? I took you in to exploit your talent, to harvest the fruit, to raise you like livestock whose only purpose is to be led to the slaughter! You're a fool! <laughs> How many lives have you destroyed? How many dreams have you auctioned off? Damn you! I'll never forgive you for this! Don't you dare bite the hand that's fed you all these years? You ungrateful swine! I wanted so hard to believe that it wasn't true. I clouded my vision for so long. I was blind. My eyes unable to see the truth. The truth behind this horrible man. Have you finally come to your senses? You foolishly averted your eyes from the truth. You're a poor imitation of yourself. Part from the lies and discover who you really are. Let us form a contract. I am thou, thou art I. The world is filled with both beauty and vice. It's time you teach people which is which. Come! Breathtaking sight. Imitations they may be, but together they still make a fine spectacle. However, they are flowers of an evil blossom, and abominations are fated to perish. You mock my beautiful creation? I swine!
think someone his age would have at least some talent. <laughs> like it matters. This kid's gonna make us a fortune. Yeah, I'm hearing voices all right. These voices are somehow related to Natsume's emotional scars? Most likely. We just need to listen to the conversation and figure out the source of his trauma from there. So we're looking for something like what Shujin Academy was to Alice. We should keep listening. There's bound to be some sort of clue here. <laughs> Sir, try to keep your voice down. He'll be back any minute. Oh, come off it. Can you really blame me for complaining? I'm the one who has to read his crap every day. Uh, the kid's got motivation, but that's about all he's got. Seems any talent for writing in that family died with his grandfather. Oh, excuse me, can I get another Katori coffee? Yes, sir, just a moment. Well, he's still our little money tree. No way in hell we're letting him know. <laughs> You're terrible, sir. <laughs> what's... what's going on here? Ow! Man, this shit hurts. This is it. Gatori coffee. I can smell the coffee. It seems to be just an ordinary cafe. Are we sure we have the right place? We'll just have to put in the keyword and see. Alright, let's make it happen. The trauma cell's calling our names. Trauma cell? It's just a name I came up with. Trauma room sounds like some kind of cheesy hospital drama. Call it whatever you want. We gotta roll. The key to opening that birdcage has gotta be here somewhere. Do you remember the keyword? Of course. It's Prince of Nightmares. Just like what happened in Shibuya. This is where Natsume's trauma comes from. What could have happened to him, I wonder? Shh. Someone's up ahead. Uh, are you sure about this? Awarding him the grand prize for that? Ongo Natsume. <laughs> the kid's entered every contest, but he's never made it past the first stage. He's as stubborn as he is incompetent. What's more, his writing is so painfully generic, it only becomes more obvious when you compare it to the other candidates. <laughs> what? That voice... is it not Sume? It can't be... He acknowledged my work. It's fine. He's the great Sogo Natsume's grandson, remember? Brand recognition is a huge part of marketability. Nobody gives a rat's ass about what's beyond the cover. Though a certain someone seems to think he's actually worth a damn. Poor kid can't even see just how hopeless he really is. <laughs> Seriously, it's pathetic. <laughs> oh, I'm trying as hard as I can. No skin off my nose, so long as he keeps raking it in. We hit the jackpot with that one, and I plan on riding him straight to the top. And if he does, by some miracle, make something decent of himself, well then everyone wins, right? <laughs> These guys are the worst. Mr. Natsume. Good morning. I see there's quite a crowd today as well. Uh, yes, about that. What is it? What? What is this? Well, when the staff came to open the store this morning, it was already like this. They called the police, but they were told to leave it as is. 
to preserve the crime scene. To the ostentatious swindler, Mr. Ango Natsume, you are a depraved miscreant who holds others in contempt and steals their work, lining your own pockets all the while. We refuse to overlook the crimes you commit as you wear a false crown. Tonight, we take back the desires you've stolen. <laughs> Honestly, how stupid can you get? Damn it, what nonsense! I am the monarch. My followers are loyal. That is, as long as I hold their desires. No. Having those desires is proof of my claim to power. Proof of my sovereignty. I won't hand them over. I won't give them up! You foolish heroes are nothing but talk. Come then, I'll crush every last one of you! <laughs> you certainly took your time, Phantom Thieves! Or should I say, chosen heroes? About time we met, eh, Mr. Overlord? You're gonna give back all those desires you stole! <laughs> Such foolishness! I have the slightest idea of what you just walked into! An appearance. Stance. This is no doubt the Overlord from Prince of Nightmares. He certainly gives off that impression, but weren't the fearsome four just dressed like normal people? Yeah, thinking about it, those guys didn't get much love from the author, did they? <laughs> you come all this way only to fall right into my trap. This world belongs to me and me alone. It takes shape solely according to my design. Here, the Overlord rains justice upon the holier-than-thou heroes who would dare brand him as evil. Here you are nothing more than flies to be swapped. I'll enjoy hearing those filthy screams as you atone for your transgressions. That's bold for someone who stole others' desires just to satisfy their own selfish wants. Yeah, if you're really the Overlord, ain't this the part where you get your ass kicked? <laughs> Tell me. How many of my demon brethren have you slaughtered while spouting such despicable hypocrisies? Wow, this guy's reading right from the handbook, isn't he? Enough of this. It's time we fought. No matter how brave a facade you put on, it's clear you're just afraid of losing that hollow throne you're so proud of. What was that? Your reign is not but an illusion. Allow us to show you the truth. <laughs> Everyone looking down on me. Yes, the time has come for my true power. You wretches shall witness my final form! <laughs> <laughs> Darker than it's darker than darkness itself! What is I at least hell? This 
got an advantage while he's in the air. Oracle, is there anything we can do? Over there, no swords in the hand now. Keep it going, turn it into a pit. Identity was just a cheap imitation. It's over, Ango Natsume. You're just a bunch of stupid kids! You don't know how much I've suffered! It's not too late for me! I've still got my reputation as a writer! I've won an award! I've sold books! It's not too late! It's never too late! And that's good enough for you? This fame you've acquired through deception and the brainwashing of others. Is that truly what you wanted? What was the real reason you started writing novels? I... I mean, I... Damn it! Damn it! I tried. I really tried. Just like everyone else, I read and read all through the night. For hours on end, like my life depended on it. And for what? Was ever mine. It was just another work from Sogo Natsume's grandson. No one. No one ever acknowledged my effort. My effort? Not my work. Not even me. No matter where I look, all I see is a bunch of thoughtless idiots. Slaves to appearances and nothing more. Acknowledge me, damn it. Acknowledge Ango Natsume's efforts for once! I just want someone to see that I really tried! I do. Huh? It's very clear just how much work you've put into writing your novels. A life led by creativity is almost always a lonely one. No matter your profession. You were battling that loneliness. You braced yourself. Pouring your very soul into your writing, bringing it to your publisher time and time again. I will gladly acknowledge such effort and determination. <laughs> there are many out there who would give up that battle. Even those of exceptional skill and creativity. To be able to continuously bring life to new works without giving up, however. That is perhaps the most exceptional talent of all. There was once a time when you kept fighting. That is one part of your career that could never be labeled a fabrication. So start over, Ango Natsume. Claw your way back up from nothing and move forward. After all, there are some things that simply cannot be painted without a blank canvas. <laughs> it is because everyone believed in me that I was able to choose the path I walk today. I stopped lying to myself and was able to begin anew. So it is now my turn to pay it forward. Even if I'm the only one in the world to do so, I will believe in you. <sighs> Stupid kid. Talking my damn ear off. But... You're right. This identity of mine was built on nothing but lies. I don't need it anymore! I'll climb my way back up, and I'll do it on my own strength! I'll write a novel that'll capture the hearts of countless readers, just like my grandfather before me. I'll write something I can be proud of. To everyone, I swear it! Good. 
And I'll be looking forward to the day I get to read it. <laughs> you know, I really am stupid. How did I let myself forget? I know now what it is I really wanted. Collapsing. Come on, we're leaving. 